yes, and separate them for no. Well done! And you there, in the generic black shirt group t-shirt, is there something that you'd like to know? Yeah. How was them pull chicks in the sack? <laughs> Tired of the same old boring paranormal shows? Then come join the party. You are back. So up, 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 everyone. Welcome back to Ghost Chat Radio. I am your host, the Paranormal Rebel, Jason Stanton. And um, tonight, I, Jody, I, like I said, Jody had some family issues that she had to take care of. And um, I told her I should take the night off, Jody. Go take care of that. And keep me posted and let me know that everything is okay. Because that's important. Love you, Jody. I hope you're doing good. I'm sure she is. But I did find my fill-in. As I said, I, I always try to find fill-ins, which is, uh, you know, the lovely and talented Wheelchair Dawn. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> everybody I know has some kind of weird nickname. Yes, and it's a good reason. I'm not a skate that's sitting in a wheelchair pushing themselves around. Just how to control that out there. You are. <laughs> if, but, all you do is you, you take the wheelchair down and you take it and use your imagination and then you probably have how I got the name wheelchair down. Probably not. <laughs> but it's also good. So, well, anyway, considering I haven't really talked to Dawn that much lately, um, Dawn, no. tell, me, tell me exactly... You know, we go way back. We go back, you know, from like a year and a half ago, and, and we've been friends. <laughs> well, what the fuck have you been up to? What have I been up to? Oh, my God. Where do I start? Um, wow. My life is such a thrilling roller coaster ride of excitement. Yeah. Pretty un. On a daily basis, I, I just I just don't even know where to start. Oh please, please! I actually, I actually uh, yesterday I had somebody ask me to come to their home to um, they think that their house is haunted, and so I'm probably gonna go do you know do that sometime soon, which I'm kind of excited about. Um, she's having the classic. A very old home. I've actually done in a couple other houses in this area. It's a very historic area. Um, the houses, you know, were built in the early 1830s, if not sooner. Um, I've already done a couple a few years ago. And um, so I don't doubt that there's something going on in this, this house. Um, she just moved in. She got It's a single mom with two two little girls. So she's pretty scared. So I'm hope to get over well, there and if I was a single mom with two girls, I'd be scared shitless. Yeah, well especially I mean she when I first met her, she did not believe in anything. She was your classic it's all bullshit, you know, there's no such thing, you know. Um she would when she would talk to me, she would refer to you know, when I started telling her what I did, she oh that that creepy voodoo shit and I'm like well, okay, voodoo and that really don't have, you know, don't go hand in hand, but whatever, you know, I know what you're saying. Um, yeah. And she said, oh, two weeks after that, oh, I bought this house and yada, yada, and now I guess she's uh, become kind of a believer. So it's kind of interesting how you go from that and all of a sudden I become the person that they want to come to their house. It It goes from being bullshit to, hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah, well, why would you? Why don't you come over to my house? <laughs> well, a lot and of I, people want you to go over to their house. Yeah, a, a lot of men do, you know. Um, but you know, women not women not so much. I usually find that it's usually for a different, completely different reason. Yeah, yeah. and you know, just really started to pick up on that. <laughs> so, <All good. laughs> what's up with you, Mister Stanton? Oh, me? Not not a damn yeah. thing. Considering it's winter, I'm hibernating. I'm trying to lay low, and uh, pretty much all that's it. Um, I'm have, any, more have any 
any projects going on? I know I know you can't talk details, but anything. Uh, do I have anything to meet right now? Um, no. Give, give us no. tidbits of anything. No, I, I don't have anything going on right now. Uh, I, I've got my PR, the wonderful and talented and beautiful um, woman, right at Munich, which I, I is also known as the Machine Gun, which she's probably in the chat room right now and smacking her head. Um, and <laughs> I have, I have to send out some love to Annette, and I, I want to, I want to take a moment to get really deep with you for a second. Okay. Oh, you, you don't want to get deep with me. <laughs> I want to get deep for a second, or I want you to get deep with me. Are, are you gonna Are you gonna let me finish answering your question first? Yes. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, she's she's working right now on uh, you know getting some things ready for me for the the spring and for summer and so forth and so on. And uh, I've got uh, my new book, Feeble Minds, that goes to Westward Village, will be available within the next you know month and a half. Uh, awesome. Yeah, and um, I just started writing a children's book, which I know oh. a lot of people are saying. A lot of people are saying, "Hey, Jake, that's that's kind of you write that." W- w- what the hell? Yes, it's true. I am I am in the yeah. middle. I just started writing a uh, a more age appropriate book between the age of eight and thirteen. I would say twelve, eight, twelve, something like that, because uh, there's not a lot of books out there for those for those uh you know those kids to read. It, it's rather you watch Spot Run or you know, you're reading Fifty Shades of Grey, and I wanted to tap into, uh, you know, that that age limit, and, and hopefully it can encourage those young minds to start reading and, you know, get into it. So I, I, well, that'll be interesting, because I have a 9 and 11-year-old, and I think it, it they would be really I cool to see what their reaction is being in that exact age range. I think they would enjoy it. I think they're going to enjoy it. I just gotta cut I, out I, all the. I gotta cut out all the sex parts. That's all. Well, you know, but I I think I see it as a learning tool for them because they're gonna learn it anyway. You know, so. Eventually, no, just I'm not just through, kidding. After I'm just my kidding. Breath. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so I just started writing that uh, about a week ago. So I'm hoping that I can have that. You know, shipped over to be edited, um, you know, by French Point Publishing, probably by June or July. Um, awesome. And if that does well, if that does well, I'll start making a series of them. That that would be really, really great and very impressive. I am very proud of you. I know I don't say it as often as I should. I hope you're not hurt, but I am. I'm very, very proud of you. Ah. And I know there's quite a few of my friends that, you know, know of you from me, they're also very proud of you, and, and that's really cool. So how are your friends? Huh? How are your friends? Well, yeah, you know, some of them. I do know some of them. I said, how are they? They're they're all good, but, you know, I I don't know. I've been kind of hibernating. I haven't really been talking to anybody. Yeah. So it's been kind of like... <laughs> I don't feel like calling anyone. I don't really feel like doing anything. It's it's quite out of my realm. Well, it's the winter. Everyone's all fucked up. Back to, back to my... I want to go back to get deep for a minute. I really want to wish Annette on this evening, if I could have one wish tonight, I'd wish for her two, two Scotsmen with kilts Show up at her door, <laughs> and their their knees are cold. You know, it's cold outside, and their knees are cold because you know they don't have anything covering their knees, and they need to come in, and they need to get warmed up, and they have nowhere to go because they're lost. I wish for her that they show up at her door and need a little little warmth and comfort, and that's just for you and for me. I want to love you. <laughs> I think I think your McNuggets would be shriveled and shrunk and you know. But that's okay. Once they got in, once they got warm, everything would come back in the place. Don't, you don't understand the McNugget factor. It's like groundhog. That's what it is. If you want to know when spring will start, 
ask a guy because they will give you a flat out. When one nut drops, you got six more weeks. That's it. <laughs> 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 so you're trying to tell me that you those both puppies could shrivel up to anything when it's cold, and I get that. But when you go into a house and it was really warm, and you know there was an attractive lady there, you know, and you're having a nice conversation. You yeah, know, you, and, notice, you notice that the first thing a guy does in that situation is go into the bathroom. Why is that? Because they are trying to pull their fucking McNuggets out from inside of them to make it look like they have a bigger package. Okay, that I did not realize that. I have been schooled properly tonight. You have been. You've been schooled. <laughs> Thank you, Professor Stan. I it, think I might get paranormal. nailed by next yeah. time. Uh-huh. It's 100% paranormal, I'm telling you. When in the cold, guys lose a part of their body and women point out more. Why? That, I don't know. That's a, that really is true. I'll never figure it out. Our, see, ours are just, it's leading the way to go back into where the frick it's warm. Not ours. Ours, ours place it. <laughs> because men are dumb. Uh, ours are saying, you, talk down at 98.6 up there. That's where I'm going. <laughs> what do you like? I got to search for warm air somewhere. Do we have a GPS? <laughs> <laughs> you have a, an internal GPS. <laughs> Annette, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> well, keep in mind, Annette's got to put up with me. <laughs> it's all good. And I think Annette will put up with you forever. Uh, and I know might. that if you were ever to show up the Scottish kilt, she would probably tolerate anything and everything you did from that point out. Uh, I don't think so. I don't think so. <laughs> I, get, I get yelled out enough by a night. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good, though. So, we got to get somewhat back on topic and away from, you know, the, the McNuggets formation. I don't even know okay. what I'm <laughs> But um, so, Do we have any or do you have anything Cases coming up or potential cases. Uh, I mean, right now, as I said, I've been concentrating more on writing. But you know, I'm always out doing other things and and, and trying to check out other people's houses as much as I can. So I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm not limited to you know what what I say I'm doing. I'm always open to suggestions, and and if anyone needs help or whatever, I'm always there for them. But mm-hmm. I mean, I, I I may go back to some of my um more well-known locations that I go to on a regular basis. Mm-hmm. Well, I can't say regular basis, but, you know, on a weekly basis. And, and see what happens. You know, I haven't been to them in a while. And I think I think those spirits may miss me and they want me to hang out with them. Maybe play some chess or something like that. Who knows? <laughs> now, okay, yeah, I'm going to bring up a theory with you. I, I know I've talked to you about this before. and I've actually talked to another... Um, another ghost hunter who I admire very much about this. And he was like, I never thought about that, but I want to see what your thought is on this. And I, I'm, I'm forget, I'm not trying to be, you know, rude, but this is seriously a fear I have about putting out, if you're at an investigation, putting out sexual energy, be, sexual energy being more primitive, like they tried the thing of um, using fear. And if they put someone who's scared to death into a room that they, they're they trying to get activity, fear being obviously a very um, primitive um, emotion. Yeah. So, but I always had the theory of the sexual energy, which I think is even more, a little bit more primitive, a little bit more organic, so to speak. Organic? To, it's organic. It's more organic. Okay, yes, well, we'll consider organic. It's been fed, um, you know, more naturally, chemically induced, uh, you know, things. Okay, we'll, we'll go with that. Yeah. And if, you know, you, you know, 
I, I someday I really, really want to test that out because I really feel that there well, are we'll have to get, 